Greetings, my friends. This is another one of those quick after work fishing outings. This is uh, Buffalo Bayou. It's the spot that I came a couple of weeks ago with my friend Ray and I caught that big flathead catfish. So I feel like I barely scratched the surface of this place. I think there's a lot of, a lot of big fish here. So I've been looking forward to coming back and uh, we're gonna just uh, give it a couple of hours until it gets dark and see what we can do here. Well, the water has definitely gone down since the last time I was here. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I feel like not really good. I've noticed that whenever we get some rains and uh, these creeks and bayous come up, uh, that the fish go crazy feeding. But we'll see, I'll make the best of it. So this one rod here, I've always got rigged up and ready to go. And I've got my favorite Mustad 65 pound braid line on there. I've got a, a slip weight and um, I've got one of these new, um, I don't, shit, I'm going to have to look up what kind of hook this is. It's, I think it's made for catfish, uh, but you can see it's got a very wide angle and kind of strange shape to it. And I think they're really supposed to be for catfish. And for bait, I went out with my cast net on my lunch break today. I went down to uh, a little lake by my house. I walked over there, I threw the thing one time, and I got 19 shad. I must have hit a school or something. So first, first throw with the cast net, one and done, that was it. So I got a bunch of these. Unfortunately, they're not live. Um, I just threw them in the fridge, but they're only just a few hours old. Uh, so hopefully they'll be nice and fresh, and that'll be enough to tempt whatever predators are here. So while that rod is always rigged up and ready to go, since it just fits in my car um, like that, it's nice and short, this rod never is. I have to take it apart every time I put it in my car or go anywhere. So I think I'm actually going to rig this thing up with a float and do the opposite. This one's got a weight on it. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Uh, this one, I'm going to use a float because there are a ton of snags here. Uh, the last time I was here, I, I think I broke the record I mean god I, I don't even think I can count how many times I got snagged and had to break the line so there's a lot to get hung up on on the bottom there so I'm gonna try one with a float and just float a piece of shad off the bottom hopefully something will come up and whack it All right, well, I already had to break the line once. Uh, that first rig that I set up got snagged, I believe on some rocks down there. I really hate uh, doing that. It's not even losing the gear so much, it's just messing up the waterway more, you know, leaving fishing line down there and hooks and stuff. But uh, nothing I could do. So I broke the line, I re-rigged, this time no weight. I've got a different hook and I've got uh, half a piece of shad. So I'm going to cast this into the current there and hope it'll just float down and not get snagged off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. something's got that. Made me drop it. I don't know what that was, but... Well, I'm getting a lot of bites here. Um, just not sure what it is. I keep getting the bait ripped right off. Something keeps, um, something keeps pulling that float under and taking it and then dropping it. So I'd really like to hook up on whatever is down there. I'm gonna try a, a little bit smaller of a piece. See if I can uh, get the, the hook in its mouth this time. Oh, got some mullet jumping over here. It's, uh, I always think of mullet as a, as a saltwater fish. We are a long way from the ocean, uh, but Buffalo Bayou does eventually turn into the Houston Ship Channel and then flow into the Trinity Bay, the Galveston Bay, and the Gulf of Mexico. So I guess, uh, I guess they adapt to fresh water. 
it's just uh, it's strange to see mullet jumping in a freshwater stream like this. All right, well, I'm getting a lot of bites. I just keep getting the bait torn off every time I try to set the hook. So my guess would be channel catfish. Not sure, but they seem to fit the bill, and I know they're in here because I caught a couple of them the last time I was here. Okay, we got serious, serious fish on here. There's absolutely no way in hell that this is a turtle. It's loose of the snag and whatever's on there is hooked. Whatever's on there is hooked and the reel's broken. I'm really a noob. It, it must have had me snagged up on a tree and that's why it felt so big and tough, all right? I've caught some big catfish before you've seen that. So here's a little blue catfish. That's what took my bait and ran with it. I thought it was a gar. Man, this thing was pulling out line like nobody's business. And really, my reel is broken now. It's totally unusable, which is a shame. Um, this is a reel that my dad gave me. I think it dates back to like 1960. It's a really old Fluger. So I'm gonna see if I can take it apart and repair it. It's just way too cool and vintage uh, to throw out. So, man. That's what all the fuss was about. All right, poor little guy. You've had a rough day. All right, well this is what all the fuss was about. I thought I had a giant alligator gar or even an alligator snapping turtle on there. Uh, but this guy just has a lot of fight in him. He took that uh, float under, there was a whole shad on here and he was ripping line off that reel. Ended up wrapping me up in a snag, then got himself free. Um, and then the reel broke and I wasn't able to reel any line in. I finally just was able to pull him up. And I was shocked to see this little guy. But I love blue catfish. That's actually what I was after today. I was just hoping for a bigger one. Okie dokie, so you should be just fine. That was a hard fight, huh? For both of us. Well, I'm pretty embarrassed by that whole scene with that little blue catfish over there. I was expecting that a gar was gonna take that line. That's why I had it set where I had it rigged how I had it. I had the bail open so that, you know, whatever took it could just run with it. And that fish did. I mean, it grabbed it and it pulled out like at least 50 yards worth of line. I mean, it was burning rubber, going, 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 acting just like a god. And then once it got hung up on the bottom, man, I didn't know what was going on, but I, I thought I had something really big on there. And uh, I feel like kind of a fool when that little blue catfish came up. I think I have mentioned it before in some of my other videos, but I love this fishing line. This is Mustad, 65 pound braid. And um, you know, being new to this, I just, I started from scratch. I had no gear at all. Um, so I've bought tons of different types of line, monofilament, braided, all different pound tests, you know, just trying different things out. and. Um, this Mustad 65 pound braid is just so awesome. It's really thin and really strong. 
So you could even probably use it for bass fishing. It just seems really versatile, uh, but it's plenty strong enough. This is what I landed uh, my huge blue catfish and flathead on, and I had no concern at all that they were gonna break the line. I knew that this was gonna be able to handle it. So I just love this stuff here. Let me show you what it is. It's this stuff. I adore it. Mustad makes great products in general. Um, from my limited experience, I've tried a bunch of different hooks, Eagle Claw, um, but I love their hooks too. Their stuff isn't cheap, but there's that old saying, you get what you pay for, and it's just really high quality. I mean, look, look at this thing, sharp as hell. I love that dark metal, um, super strong. So yeah, I'm a big fan. Love this line. I would tie my shoes with this fishing line. Fish have definitely been biting. It's just, man, they just keep pulling me into snags or I get snagged. It's, uh, it's a tough place to fish for sure. So I was really hoping for a buzzer beater blue catfish to end out the night. Um, I got that little one, but I was uh, really after a monster here today. So I'm about to pack it up and call it quits. So until next time, I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you guys for watching and take care.